Yeah. So how's it going, Jason? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Why do you look so suspicious? <laughs> Okay, so for those of you at home, we've had a few questions in from viewers just asking about lease lowdown and what our purpose is. So a friend of mine suggested doing a quick interview to answer some of your questions and shed some light. I'm not entirely sure what the cameraman's going to ask um, and I have a habit of waffling so I do apologise in advance. How many questions are there? Right, five questions. Uh, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. So first question, what's with the girls' hair? <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. Lease Lowdown is a blog that was set up to kind of simplify and make the car leasing process a little bit less intimidating. Um, and then it also produces content, general automotive content. We try to keep it informative and entertaining if possible. Um, but we produce general automotive content for all the petrol heads out there, including articles and car reviews, which are uploaded to the blog directly. Um, we also keep on top of industry news and kind of the latest developments in the automotive industry. Um, and we keep you updated on them through our social media accounts, mainly Twitter and Instagram. Um, and then we also have a presence on YouTube, of course, with car reviews, video car reviews uh, and vlogs as well. Well, firstly, I had a bit of experience anyway with car leasing. I'm aware that it can sometimes be costly, time consuming, you know, sometimes annoying to try and lease a car. So I wanted to create something that would kind of answer people's questions and just make the car leasing process, I think I said earlier, easier on the whole, the more straightforward uh, thing to do. And secondly, I am a mad petrol head. I always have been. Um, I was that kid who, if people were talking about football or rugby or, I don't know, you know, other general stuff, um, I'd be absolutely clueless, but if they started talking about engines, you know, not 60 stats, the latest cars, I'd be there, I'd be absolutely loving it. Um, and I, I mean, the same applies now, nothing's really changed, to be honest. You'd think that later on I might have picked up on a few, you know, different footballers or teams and stuff like that, more general kind of chit chat, but yeah, it's still the same. Literally, I think about two or three years ago in work, I was sharing a, a lift with a guy in a different department who w was talking to me. He started talking to me about an Aston Villa match. That's what it was. Um, he There was a match before, um, and obviously I didn't watch the match. I'm not into football at all. So he asked me what my opinion was on the match, you know, how it went, top players for me, that kind of stuff. Um, me being me, stupidly, I took a bit of a gamble. So it was a 50-50 when he asked me, you know, what I thought. So I could either go with, you know, yeah, really happy for Aston Villa. They played really well, that kind of thing. Or I could go with the other um, and just say, oh, no, absolutely gutted. You know, you know, they must be really upset about the loss. So <laughs> I took the gamble. I went with the loss. Um, no offence to Aston Villa fans. That's just what I assumed. Uh, obviously, I got it wrong. I think it was 3-0 or something like that against Liverpool, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, Aston Villa won, so I said to the guy, oh yeah, you know, Villa must be absolutely gutted, and he looked up, he was on his Blackberry, and he looked up, and he he, he just had a puzzled look on his face, and he said, um, you know, something along the lines of, oh, what, what do you mean, what are you on about? Um, and I, at that point, I kind of decided in my mind, I had a split second to think, I just decided that it was too late to go back, I was already too far into it, so I just had to carry on, unfortunately, and I just said, you know, with, with Aston Villa's defeat, um, and then there was just a few seconds of, of silence. Um, and then luckily I was saved by my floor coming about. So the, the doors opened and I could make a, a quick escape. But you get the picture, like I was always a car guy and I thought it would be great to start something up that would let me work a bit more with my passion. Um, and Lease Lowdown enables me to do that. From reviewing and rating cars to writing articles about you know classic cars, depreciation, um, of course, car leasing topics. You know, I'm learning a lot, I'm developing my kind of knowledge in this area. Um, and as I say, I enjoy it, so you know, I can't really complain. Uh, there are the guys down at Kalo Digital in Liverpool who designed and maintained my website. Really great guys, and they did a good job on the, on the blog, or blog. Um, and then the rest of the content, so the articles, the social media work, the reviews, is just primarily done by myself um, but you know as I say it allows me to learn and I, I, I love cars I love doing it so you know can't complain <sighs> oh, 
I was worried you'd ask me that. Uh, the honest answer is, I don't know. Um, I mentioned that me and some of the guys have a few ideas about where we'd like to take Lee's Lowdown, but in truth, opportunities arise from, you know, just loads of different areas and loads of different people, so we're just gonna see how it goes. Our main goal at the moment is just to try and build um, a reputation, you know, in, in the car leasing industry. We wanna get people talking, commenting, asking questions, um, and yeah, you know, as I said, we wanna, we wanna just grow our brand, essentially. Um, almost like a forum, if you will. Now, the idea of Lease Lowdown may grow in future, but I think focus is important. So for the time being, that is what we're gonna focus on, just growing the brand and building an audience and the following. Um, I suppose with that in mind, uh, to you guys watching at home, please like, comment, subscribe, share our content, um, you know, it'd be greatly appreciated. And of course, don't forget to visit leaselowdown.co.uk for more automotive content. I feel like I use that line way too much. Do you know what I mean? It's at the end of every video. I'm gonna be putting it on my email sign off soon. <laughs> and um, who knows what, business cards. I'm gonna get, please like, comment, and subscribe business cards. That's what's next for Lease Lowdown. So uh, watch this space. <laughs>